Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today I'm actually hands-free. This was gameplay that I recorded one night where I wasn't trying to be loud or anything like that, but I still wanted to chase this AK-47 holographic nuke, so I put together some gameplays. Uh, this one starts off a little bit weak, but each of these games, I believe, is a top frag. But, yeah, so I'm going to be talking you guys through what I'm thinking, slash, you know, this entire video is going to be just me, uh going through me trying to get this this uh, AK-47 nuke and who knows maybe by the end of it we might have something special for you guys anyways the first match here is on wasteland it starts a little bit rough with some deaths here but I think I, I might be able to track that guy yep the holographic site's insane because what it gives you FMJ that's what much much we know someone yeah someone walked up to me and uh was saying hi it's been happening more often I thought I saw someone there I missed them yeah we do get them and the headshot but we go down the more I played with the AK-47, the more comfortable I was feeling. But the one thing I want to say right off the bat um, is that when I was playing without talking, right? Because I've been commentating almost every every time I've been playing, I forgot how much easier it is to like just play the game. Like you can hear people way easier. So uh, I felt like I was definitely at an advantage during this session, just because I could hear a lot better. Here I spawn in the pipe. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking I'm probably not going to be getting a nuke, but it is Wasteland. So, I have an RPG secondary as I pull out there. Um, it is Wasteland, so it's going to go a little bit slow. The opportunities for nukes sometimes are plentiful, sometimes they're not. But I, uh, I have a t couple buddies in this lobby because, again, I just I joined late at night. Didn't want to be super loud recording, so we just played some OGMW2 together. Boom. We risked Christian self right there. Let's see how I uh, move up left here. It's been a long time since I've watched this gameplay. Enemy carries is no good. I'm sure I know that. I don't have cold blooded. I okay. I decide. Yep, I'm gonna do my part here and try to shoot a rocket at it, maybe. Or do I go selfish and shoot it at the at the? No, I definitely. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and take a shot here. It's a miss. That's okay. And our boy DZ Clear takes out or uh, Black Paw takes it out. We RPG that guy for the kill. As we make our way towards this nuke attempt. My semester started back up, by the way. I have a library of books over there. Um, a paper due tonight. Or actually tomorrow by 11 a.m. But We rinse that dude in the cave. We back off a little bit here. Blast shield. You don't want to mess with me right there. It's a headshot. But again, there's somebody there. Wasteland's a pretty tough map, in my opinion. See if I can get a lucky RPG shot. Oh! Right through the little... The separation between the wood and the top of the cave there. I am re-watching this video on YouTube. It seemed like it was kind of the easiest way for me to honestly do it. Was to upload it and then re-watch it. Yo-yo's there. I'm going to. I'm gonna go towards the cave again. Looks like I'm. I'm kind of committed to this RPG. Yeah, this RPG bit. There's no reason for me to shoot that second rocket there. I honestly don't think it's worth it because I only got one hit marker. I, I heard from the first one, and now I have no RPG shot for if I want to uh, contest anything over here. Let's see if I win this fight against someone who's highly in cover. Only 30 rounds left, or 30 rounds. In, nice. Okay, we do outplay. If you can, one thing I'm starting to learn a little bit, especially from playing MW3 OG, is that if you can barely see your opponents, that means they can barely see you, especially like through brush. So if you can find areas where like you know that, like, yeah, it's gonna be difficult to see, but I know exactly where to look. That's kind of the exact area that you're trying to manipulate. You don't want to fight a fair fight if you can help it. You want to find areas that are advantageous for you. And even if that's a bit of brush that makes it really hard to see out of, but almost impossible to see into. Sometimes that's what you kind of want to be playing around. Anyways, I go back into the cave here. I see... Yeah, there's definitely someone on the on the radar out there, but they're not showing, which means I don't want to sit. I see one, I see two. Bingo, bongo, bango. Double kill for your boy. I'm assuming that more are going to be uh, darting around here, but I do a quick check. I'm sure this is a quick check and nothing too crazy. Beaver, what's up, brother? Yeah, it's nice to see you in a team deathmatch and not a free-for-all. And I think I typed to him. I say, oh, the, I, I'm saying the 
the real equalizer is what I meant to say there, and I I, I ruined my kill streak to get it off. But at this point, I'm feeling like the nuke isn't really that possible. An absolute rinsing again. That's sleight of hand diff. I'm making a build an OG mono for a three that I think is, is pretty decent, which is assassin with quick draw, which gives you the advantage of surprise factor with assassin and then quick draw. But you can't run them books, so you need to run specialists. You know, just MW3 things. If I shoot this rocket, yeah. I wait here. I see a shadow. Boom. Yep, and it's on the left hand side. I'm super exposed from behind here though. Yep. I, it doesn't surprise me that I get rinsed there. I'm pretty sure it didn't surprise me at the time either. Yo yo hot dog is in there. I fire one rocket, nothing. Fire a second rocket, nothing. That's tough. Stun over the top. Still nothing. I get chosen. Nothing I can do about that. Let's see. I do a far stun there. That's that's basically maximum angle. Turn left, looking. Three outside, so I, I, I might go for more aggressive. Oh, Beaver with the double semtex. Does a good job clearing that. I have to know this is fruitless. How long do I stay here for? Yeah, I have to know it's fruitless. And it was kind of nice just to play without, you know, trying to always, you know, say the right thing at the right time. You know, when you're, when you're commentating, it's like trying to walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. But right here, I can just go back to where I was. There's really no reason to shoot those RPG shots. But I want to do my best for the team. If I have it, I might as well try. I see, there's somebody over there, but they're not quite within angle. And I'm exposing myself to the left to do it. Okay, we lose the game uh, 50 to 75, but we top frag. Our team got absolutely farmed. Sorry to my friends who I'm exposing here, but yeah, this was game one of the, the no com games. And so we're going to be jumping, hopefully, right into game number two here. Yep, 21-13. All right, game number two coming at you. We go to underpass. And we're going to try to pop off here. I believe this is a single digit death game, if I remember correctly. So that's that's good. We get one right around the corner. There's two more. Throw a stone. I think that's a smart decision. That's a lot of hit markers. Oh my goodness. It's... It's wabbit season, baby. Do I decide to go under this underpass? Uh, mm, I do like going... I've been doing that more and more where I've, I've take the underpass to the opposite side and like patrol this zone specifically. I think this zone is good. I, th I think the zone is good if you patrol it. I don't think that this, that part of the underpass is strong if you try to like... Advance to the other side of the map, particularly like to my left right here. Here, I'm assuming that someone's going to come sprinting right across my face because if I'm on the far flank, and he does. So that guy's name is Stalker, okay? So I'm a, I am know that he's going to come back for me. So what do I do? I sprint away here, right? And I'm trying to find the next hiding spot. Because I know he's going to come right back because he doesn't want... He, yeah, I think he just threw a stun behind me. I think he's... And so I sit here and wait. And I use this just for any movement. And I'm assuming Stalker's gonna come come running up to find me. So I'm waiting, I'm being patient. Because his natural path would take him past me here if he went to go check for me. So we're gonna see. Ransom, no, it wasn't Stalker, it was Skinny, but there's Stalker, he was over there as well. And I, I lose a 3v1, I take that one down with me, that's fine. We start the game five for one, we have Mad Dog, we got Beaver. Got some of the OGs in this. Rinse that guy through the Whatever objects were there because AK-47 gets the FMJ. I hear someone running up behind me, right? So I know it's a teammate. I can push forward. Advantageous position here. This is a nice spot. Get me chilling. I wonder if I see anyone. Like how long I, I stay committed to this. Yeah, one re I, I I don't like staying up there too long just because like it only has one real angle. So I'm a, I assume that because someone died behind me here that there's gonna be someone again i'm waiting for someone just to run across me and tick 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 we snip that guy from super far away but then he gets us back or someone gets us back someone yeah approach really quickly i'm assuming we're gonna see this guy and yet we do no payback that one was easy just fouled his natural path a noob tuber i put on blast shield yep S smart instincts should have done it a little bit sooner but that's fine and he gets us again with the m4 i, I i'm i'm almost certain i won't let him do that again but we're going to find out. If I, if I go down to that same guy, we're going to find out. Oh, I've turned on and off Blast Shield. I, I want a little bit more of that peripheral vision around here. There probably was somebody there. Oh, man, I'm taking shots. Blast Shield's on. 
We get him. Yep, there goes the M4 guy. Very nice. Low payback. That stun should have hit me, but doesn't Bieber with the, the Kimbo. Rangers. Firing this for the sake of firing. Oh my goodness. I probably should have watched that kill cam to figure out exactly where that guy was shooting from, but that's fine. A lot of this time, I'm, I'm just kind of rushing to get as many kills as I can to try to go for a nuke. Okay. Yeah, that one's just tragic. I, the people that I chose to shoot at just left, so. We do end up cleaning one up, and it could have been at least two or three if I prioritized differently. Okay, that he comes running up the stairs to a little payback. Come on, AK. He doesn't get it. Running out of ammo, and I go down. That one guy skinny with the M4 is... is it's doing a good job this game getting kills on me. I'm assuming that he has most of them. It just felt kind of weird. Like, he knew exactly where I was in the beginning, too. Like, when I was camping to the side there, he had no reason to know that I was there. I thought that was Stalker. But he came running over there to come check. I feel like he might have had some... I don't want to immediately accuse him of radar hacks, but... We got to think about... What, what the alternatives are here. Someone gets a Pred Missile behind me. I'm not too concerned about that. But I do know people have been using the center building area. Right, so I'm going to be... I just want to watch it. Just observe. Combat Hunter style. I, I didn't know I could climb up here. So I was like, just kind of using this opportunity to chill. And I figure it might give me an opportunity to get one unsuspecting person. Um, who might not know that I'll, I'll be up there. And I, I believe that I cash out with it? We're going to find out. So I missed someone to the right right there. Yeah, that person didn't quite know I was there. I have to know this person's going to be above here. I have to know. Yep. And I felt like right there where the two kills were like... I, it gave me an advantage to be up here, but I feel like my advantage went away. Yo, maybe... Yeah, that's it. That's the third one. I was like, you know what? I've used it for three kills now. I think it gave me the advantage each of those situations. Just wait. If this is skinny and he, and he peeks around the corner at me... Okay, yeah, no radar hacks. Okay, there's a six kill streak for the Harrier, but the game's almost over, and uh, it's just tough. Maybe he... Oh, we're getting an assist there. That's tough. Oh, no. He's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low on ammo, and he gets killed by the Harrier. And the Harrier's still shooting, so we go 18 and 5 in this game. Uh, I mean, it's not quite... It's Beaver actually top frag with a 27 and 14 performance. Actually, really, really sick. But we had a nice KD. We had a, a three and some change KD, which is which is pretty nice. 3.6 KD. Oh, and we're going to be in the, uh, in the lobby here. Let me just pause this. Okay, we have the final game, which is a team deathmatch on invasion. I have one man army on... Um, one man army setups, AK-47. I was so sick of running out of ammo. And I felt like, you know what? Let's just try to do some one man army shenanigans. I have on stopping power right now, I believe. It could be hardline. But I feel like I would start with stopping power if it was me. Okay, yep. We got Kolevakium. He, he got Recta going across the center there. And I immediately get up in big blue in this map. And, and a big reason why is that if you're trying to get nukes in TDM... Uh, if you can manipulate one of the most powerful spots in the game, you kind of want to be doing it. Just because TDM nukes are so difficult to pull off. Big Blue is one of the most powerful spots in the game. And the reason I'm playing at the slow is there's no friendlies around me. Which means I'm very likely to be pressed up on here. I think I see somebody in the house in the minimap. We end up just turning and rinsing up with the high damage of the AK. No more sleight of hand because of the one-man army. And we... Oh man, we see that guy in the brush, which is kind of insane. Um... I am counting my kills here, I believe. So I'm going to be doing hardline swaps. Yeah, we're prepped for this dude. We're ready for this dude. To march up to the right side of that tank. But it doesn't look like he's doing it. He doesn't look like he's actually going to do it. A friendly pave low in this guy is not what we want to see at all. Friendly pave lows get kills. Friendly pave lows make people switch to cold-blooded. Friendly pave lows make people pull out stingers. Um... All things that are very, very bad for us. So immediately here, I started losing a little bit of hope. Or a lot of bit of hope, to be honest with you. Just because, like, oh, wow, they have a pave low up. 
Like, the other team is going to be putting on cold-blooded. The other team... I tried to go for an FMJ kill there. Didn't quite get it. Um, the other team is going to be putting on cold-blooded. And so, if I... I make the swap to a swapping power class here, as you can saw. So, I make the swap. And so, I'm, I'm either thinking that my kill streaks aren't going to be doing that much for me. But I'm just trying to stay positive. Not score-wise, but I'm trying to stay positive mentally. Trying to stay in it. And just being very careful up here. I see someone in the mini-map. I start spraying through the wall with FMJ. Don't get anything, which is a little bit disappointing. But we're just trying to play it slow. Okay, this is a nice spot to, to get land some snipes. AK is good from long range. Nice. Not because it's super accurate like an ACR, but because just, you just need a couple bullets to get the kill. All right, we're going to pick a new host now. And I like it when I see that because I typically get chosen, or I'm one of the candidates that gets chosen to be the new host. Uh, let's see if I check here. Uh, I don't check, because I'm getting immediately back into the action. Checking around this right side. Again, I want to be in control of this alleyway. This is a three-lane map. This is a traditional three-lane map style, and I'm on the right lane from my map, from my side. So I'm trying to make sure I completely lock it down. If anyone chooses this lane, they go down. Um, I can't let anyone else, especially in my team, take the kills from this lane. I want I want me to be in control of it. And the best way to do that is from Big Blue, but not from a camping Big Blue perspective, a very mobile Big Blue perspective, where you're constantly roaming around and gathering information. Right there. Let's see if I get the kill. Through the wall. I had, I had a hard line on right there, looks like, actually. Let's see what I do here. Do I swap to a danger... No... We now have two sets of Harriers and our team up. One of them just got destroyed. And a Pavlo up. So I'm immediately assuming, like, my Harrier's going to get shot down instantly. Another Pavlo comes in. I'm thinking, like, there's no way. So I actually go to stopping power here because I'm thinking there's there's no way that this Harrier's going to do it for me. But then it gets two more kills. So I'm thinking, wait, he's actually doing really good work for me. So I swap to danger close. I swap to danger close. So that way, when the Harrier, one, will do more damage... And two, if I if it gets me this AC-130, I'm immediately ready to call it in. Okay, so Danger Close, again, Danger Close Pro makes air supports do more damage. So I'm, I know I'm on a timer here. There's a Pavlo up in the sky. They're, they're shooting stuff down. I'm like, I just got to rack in as many kills as I can with this AC-130. And I'm so happy I had AC-130 this game because if I had a Chopper Gunner, I wouldn't have been able to call it in. So they're, they're now starting to target me. The Pavlo goes down right there. It looks like he's the guy doing it. We target him. Another big kill. Danger Close AC-130 is really, really strong. Um, it, it's, in my opinion, probably the strongest kill streak in the game. Come on now. Land those kills, brother. That should be that's a decent shot. You don't need to shoot those shots at him. He's already dead. Anyways, what do we swap to? We go to Hardline, and we need three more kills if we have Hardline on. So we get a full set. I take damage. But if you look at the score, it's 64. We only need 11 more kills, and there's it's a full match. So I'm like, okay, I have to hustle. I need three kills ASAP. We rinse one right there. That's with Hardline. There's someone right here. Thanks to this UAV, we have extra information. We need, I believe, one more kill. Scanning. Come on. Painkiller. I'm I, I'm sweating bullets. Let's go. 24 kill streak called in immediately. We're not messing around. A 24 0 flawless nuke with the AK 47 holographic. And we used FMJ to get the Harrier that popped off. Like, the FMJ was crucial for this nuke. It wasn't like a side character. I rinsed that guy through the wall to get the Harrier, and that's how I ended up getting it. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you later.